Hey guys, welcome to the review show. My name is Austin. The bike rider stars Tom Hardy, Austin Butler, and Judy Comer. Over the course of a decade, a Midwestern mo motorcycle club evolves from a gathering place for local outsiders to sinister gang threatening the original group's way of life. This is kind of like the only like somewhat like gangster, not really gangster, but this is kind of the only like somewhat punky type of shirt I could find. So yeah, but Blink-182 shirt, is gonna do it's gonna have to do for this video. Bike Riders is something I've been really looking forward to. The trailers have been hit or miss. I mean, like I don't know, but Tom Hardy, Austin Butler, and uh, Judy uh, uh, Comer Comer. I almost said a different word there for a second. Not trying, not trying to go that, down that rabbit hole today. All great three cast members. Just like why? How can you not be excited for this movie? Tom Hardy who is usually great in everything, is actually pretty good in this movie. His voice, actually, in the trailer is kind of like, uh, that doesn't sound right. It wasn't even that big of a bust. Like, I've seen people, like, point out and make fun of his voice. And honestly, I wasn't really paying attention to his voice. And it was his character was actually very compelling. And, like, you got to know a lot of about his stuff. And honestly, this kind of movie is Tom Hardy's movie. He's kind of the vocal point of this movie. I think it tries to push uh, Austin Butler and uh, uh, Jody as like the forefront, as like as it's as their story. But I wouldn't really consider it as their story. I mean, uh, Judy, the, uh, who uh, she plays, is uh, Kathy. Um, her like the character that she plays wrote a book, which is based, which this movie is based on. So it is from her point of view, and it's kind of like her almost her story. But honestly. I don't even think she's really the main character in the movie. I think Tom Hardy is like uh, is the character because honestly, out of all the characters of this movie, we know the most about him. I hardly know anything about Austin Butler, and um, like you can get some attachment with him and um, and um, with his character and Judy's uh, Jody's character. Like you know, wanted them to actually have a happy life. Like you know, at first, like their relationship was like you know, it was fun. It was uh, it's, it was thrilling. And at some point, she wanted something more, and he didn't really want it to change his life. And he's kind of like that, uh, he plays that guy who doesn't basically take orders from anyone else besides himself. He only does what he wants. And so there's not really that much where you get to somewhat attached to his character, really. So, like, it's more of his, like, sensitive side that gets you attached. And so he really does care about, um, about, this girl that he you know met at a bar and actually also really cares about the like this gang and the people and the original people around uh in that game because you know he probably grew up with those people you don't really get to know that much but you know they're you get an understanding that they're really good friends and mostly between him and johnny who are really good friends and and johnny uh, gets a pretty like has a good connection relationship with his character but yeah and again like i said besides anything really on that side of anything, Austin Butler's character is just kind of like almost like anyone could have played him. But it's like Austin Butler is a big name, so it's like who else could we put next to um, Tom Hardy? Why not get the guy that uh, that is like hot right now, practically? On the other hand, Tom Hardy is like over here creating this. Like he's the one that started the gang. Uh, you see that he has a family, and you know he he has morals. Like he respects people. Like and he wants to. And he created this game that basically scares people. So he doesn't he doesn't care if he scares people. He actually kind of likes it, but he still has morals and all that. And you kind of see him go through like his like this life that he has with this game. It's basically saying like this movie took place over ten years. It honestly didn't really feel like that. And now, of course, a, a two hour movie is not going to feel like it's ten years. But I've seen other movies that told stories that take place over longer times in better ways. I would honestly say that Furiosa does a better job at telling a full story about one person's whole freaking life, where you get to see Furiosa as a young child and to the point where she is in uh, Mad Max. Um, and this movie is kind of like, wait, it kind of not really jumps over the place, but like it, it so it jumps from one point of telling from Jody's, uh, Jody's character telling the story to another point going back in time to back to that point and next back in, like, so it goes back and forth with like timelines in some forms. And at some point a character dies, it's like, who died? <laughs> like, and it, and it, and 
at some point of, at the end of the movie where it goes back like, well, what happened to the, the rest of the game? It's like, oh, this person went and did this. This person went and did this. And it's like, oh, okay, so this person died. Oh, okay, well, I did it. It was like uh, that. I, I, he had probably a good chunk of screen time, but I didn't really care enough to remember who died. Or like remember, oh, it's like to be like, oh, so he died. It felt like there was too many characters, and at the beginning of the movie, they wanted to introduce every character, but they kind of did it in a way where it's like, all right, so... Here's a guy interviewing, and um, and uh, t and uh, the two characters that are telling their backstory in some form is uh, talking to the camera. It's like, oh, okay, so that's all the backstory you're gonna get from them. It's like, but these are the characters you're gonna be hanging out with throughout the movie. It's like, okay, well, that's kind of lame. So besides on that aspect, whenever the movie focuses on Tom Hardy, that's its strong point, to be honest, because Tom Hardy's character is the most interesting. He has the most depth that you can get behind, and and he really holds this film up. Think of it as a Tarantino film where like stuff does happen and maybe like there's a couple of thrilling moments throughout the films, but it is a lot of talking and a lot of people a lot of like the early like somewhat complaints of the film is that it's really boring. And honestly, I didn't find it boring at all. Like yes, there's definitely moments where the film does feel a little bit choppy, like I said there's a character that dies and it's like wait who died and uh there's like other multiple characters that you don't really get to know that much about even like a somewhat villain character that is somewhat causes some of like a problem for the game later on that you see throughout the film and it's like who wait so who is this really uh like care like what's the purpose of this character and actually do see it fully flesh out but it's like did we really need to focus every every once in a while cut back to this person so it's just like the movie like there's definitely definitely moments where the movie could have taken other things out and replaced it with other things but again it's also based on a true story so it is telling from a perspective of somebody who doesn't really know that much about probably that doesn't know that much about what happened and what going on so it does feel like it's jumping back and forth in a lot of different moments but this, i i that's all can i can really say because that's just how I felt when I was watching this movie. Maybe this person knows a lot of things. That just was not expressed well well enough on the screen. But still a very well done movie. The cinematography is really cool. Uh, the music is awesome. I honestly do really like the soundtrack in this movie. Um, the acting is top notch. I'm going to give the bike riders a B minus. There's a couple of things in this movie that could have been worked around better. But it was very well made. Acted very well. Tom Hardy really honestly stole this whole entire movie. Austin Butler did a good job. Uh, he just didn't really get that much writing. Or he wasn't really... His character, they didn't really do much um, in any way. Anyway guys, thank you for, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Like always, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.